What's up guys? Welcome to Red the Bean. Today's episode is kind of special. It is almost 11 o'clock at night and I just got off the evening shift at work at the hospital. And tomorrow I have the night shift. So I'm gonna have to get some sleep during the day tomorrow. And in the evening, me and Kenneth have something awesome planned. So instead of sitting inside and trying to force myself to stay awake this evening, I thought I would go for a ride and take you guys with me. Are you ready? Let's go for a night ride. We upload a new video every Thursday and if you want to follow us, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Tonight will be my first proper ride with the Krieger bags. I keep reminding myself that I'm just a bit fatter in the behind than what I'm used to. Hopefully I won't be able to destroy them on the first go. Quick stop in hell now just for me to get some gas and to tell you guys where we're going. We are headed for a peninsula that is just about an hour ride away from our home city Trondheim, Norway. And it has a very special history and very special nature reserve. I'm very excited to show you guys. I think you're gonna like it. Kenneth is not with me today because he doesn't have the night shift so he can stay home and sleep but I get to go solo riding. As a kid, my mom taught me not to sleep away the summer night after the famous Norwegian song. I don't always listen to what she has to say, but just for tonight, let's listen to her. So the clouds took over and the sun is gone and it started raining just a little bit. It's not exactly what I wished for, but you can't plan with the weather. So let's see if I can enjoy this ride anyway. Alright, just a quick stop here at a gas station that was supposed to be open. I just feel really cold and need a sweater. Looks like the sky is clearing up though. We're about halfway there. I could use some coffee now. On our way to Teutra, we're going to be driving past Frostating, which is one of the first courts of Norway. It's from before Viking times. So we made it to Frostating. The story of this thing is that around 600 AD, counties were beginning to form around the Trondheim Fjord and they made a seat of law here. Eventually there were 12 counties that met here for an annual meeting where they agreed upon laws and set judgment for people. 
This is just a monument, but this is the exact spot where Norway's oldest law was founded. You better watch out for those things. Those things are the most dangerous predator in Norway. The seagull. Oh. Don't want to get close to them. And they always seem to shit on my bike. I'm coming. Don't shit on it. Time to put the helmet back on and get back on the road. Let's see if we can make it to Teta. Norwegian summer nights do not disappoint. It is now two o'clock in the morning. I know, I said it will only take an hour to drive, but I had a lot of detours on the way. But look at this, isn't it gorgeous? Boys and girls, this is Tautra, and these are the monastery ruins from 1207. A Cistercian monastery was funded here in part because of the proximity to the Frostating and also because of the proximity to the Nidros Cathedral. So, close to the monastery ruins, you can find a restaurant with a nice bed and breakfast and a very nice store that has local beer, local cheese. I doubt they're open right now. Let's go find out. Eleven till six. Might open at two thirty at night. Hmm. So these were the old monastery ruins of Tostra. Let's go check out the new ones. A new monastery was funded here in 1996, also Cistercians. Let's go check that out. Somewhere across the fjord there is Kenneth, hopefully sleeping. And it's time for me to head back soon. 
I just wanted to show you the monastery. I feel a bit bad now because it's almost 3 o'clock and <laughs> I don't want to wake up the nuns. But let's just... Try to go up to see the church. It's kind of cool. It was... Um, they funded the monastery in 96 but this new building is very new and modern. It's from 2006. Let's see. Church opens at 4.15 in the morning. An hour and 15 minutes away from now so the nuns who live here have meant a lot to me and still do they would be absolute sweethearts and welcome me if I had come at a more reasonable time but for now let's just not wake them up their alarm will be going off soon anyway there's so much more of this island I would love to show you but it's getting kind of late and today is July 15th, so it's the last day of the birds hatching season. This is a bird sanctuary in nature reserve, so we don't want to bother the birds too much. That's it for me tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little nighttime ride to Tarzra. I certainly did. It's an awesome way to waste some time. Now, I'm going to go back to the city to catch some sleep, because tomorrow we have a big day ahead of us. We're meeting up with a new friend of ours who is going to take us for a ride. There's going to be gravel, there's going to be nice views. It's going to be awesome. And look, the Krieger bags are still on. No accidents with them yet. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be notified when we upload new videos and if you want to support us you can go to ridethebeam.com to read our blog or get a bag of our coffee all right see you next time bye <laughs>